Welcome! I'm going to show you how to edit the Gourmet Cupcake Mockup in Photoshop. So first we're going to be working in this handy layers panel right here. So if you don't see the layers panel, go to Window, Layers to bring it up. And then you want to click the little arrow next to any of the cupcake layer groups and that will expand the layer group. And then click the arrow next to Topper. And then double click the thumbnail icon in the layer that says Design Dash Topper. And this will open up a smart object where you can copy and paste your design. To do that, go to File, Open, and then find your design. And then we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. And we'll click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste. And then we'll just go to File, Save to save that. And you can close the uh, Smart Object tab and the original graphics. And you'll see it put it on the topper just like that. If you need to resize it at all, you could do that by going to Edit, Free Transform, and then just clicking and dragging the any one of the four corners. Now in new versions of Photoshop, you can just click and drag and it'll keep it proportional. In older versions, you used to have to hold down the Shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if you see it getting distorted, um, just go to Edit, Undo, and then do the opposite of whatever you were doing, whether that's holding down the Shift key or not holding it down. And then we can actually copy and paste that onto the rest of our toppers. So we'll just click on that layer and then go to Edit, Copy. Close that and then we're going to go to the other cupcakes just by clicking the arrow next to the cupcake layer and then the arrow next to topper and then double clicking the design dash topper thumbnail icon and we'll go to edit paste to paste our transformed uh, design right into the topper and then file save to save that and then we'll close the smart object tab and it'll be on the uh, second topper just like that for us. Then we'll click the arrow next to the third cupcake and then the arrow next to topper. And we'll double click on the thumbnail icon again. And go to edit, paste again. And we'll go to file, save. And we'll click the X to close the smart object. And now it's on all three toppers. If you had a design where you didn't want the circle topper, maybe your topper isn't circular, you can turn that off just by uh, clicking the eye icon next to the topper layer. And we'll click the eye icon next to the other two toppers. Now you can just copy and paste your design right into the mock up right on top of the toothpicks. We'll go to File, Open. Then we'll find the design. And we'll go to Select All, then Edit, Copy. And this time we'll click on the mockup. And we'll go to Edit, Paste. And we can just kind of, uh, we can click and drag that into place. We're going to click on this layer and drag it to the top. And then we're going to click and drag it into place. And then we want to duplicate, duplicate that a couple times. So we'll click on the layer with the topper. And then we'll just drag it to this little plus sign at the bottom of the layers panel. 
and that'll duplicate it. And we can do that again to make sure we have three copies. And then we'll just click and drag those layers into place. Making sure we're clicked on the layer. If you don't want the toothpicks, let's say your topper goes right onto the top of the cupcakes, you can also turn off the toothpicks. So to do that, just click the eye icon next to the toothpick layer. We'll do that for all three cupcakes. And you can just drag your toppers down right into the top of the cupcakes. You can change the frosting and cupcake colors in this mock-up. So do that once you've clicked the arrow and expanded the layer group for the cupcake. Then click the arrow next to the second cupcake layer and expand that. And then click either the arrow by the frosting layer or the cupcake layer. And that'll expand that layer group. And you'll see a layer labeled color dash you want to double click the thumbnail icon and that'll bring up a color picker. That'll allow you to change the frosting to any solid color. You can do that by just clicking anywhere in this rainbow slider. <clears throat> and then you can click in the gradiated box to make the color lighter or darker. And once you've found a color you like, if you want to use that for all three, cupcakes, you can just click in this box next to the pound sign and then drag to select the number and then press command C to copy on a Mac or control C on a PC. And then just click the cupcake layer, the arrow next to the cupcake layer and the arrow next to the frosting layer in the next cupcake and double click the thumbnail icon again to bring up the color picker and then click in the box next to the pound sign and drag again and then press command V to copy or control V on a PC. We can do that a third time with the right cupcake. We'll just expand the cupcake layer and the frosting layer and we'll double click the third color dash frosting layer. We'll click the box next to the pound sign and drag and then press command V or control V again. You can uh, change the color of the cupcake. By clicking the arrow next to the cupcake layer to expand that and you can either double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash cupcake layer to open up the color picker and choose any color. Maybe you have some food coloring and it's a interesting color cupcake. Or you can use one of the pre-built colors. To do that, turn the uh, color layer off by clicking the eye icon and then click the box next to the pre-built colors layer to turn them on and click the arrow next to the pre-built colors layer to expand that and you'll see you have the option of gold, chocolate, or red raspberry. So you can just turn the eye icons on and off to select which one you like if you want to use one of the pre-built colors. I'd recommend only having one click at a time because otherwise you could get a little bit of a halo on the around the edges here. Of course, you could do that for any of the three cupcakes. And there are, uh, depending on which mock-up you purchased, you may have different backgrounds. So you can just click the arrow 
next to the backgrounds layer to expand that and just click the eye icons on and off to toggle through the background layers. You could also copy and paste your own into Photoshop. And the uh, shadows underneath the cupcakes are adjustable. So if we expand any of the cupcake layers, we'll see the shadows under cupcake layer group. We'll click the arrow to expand that. And you just click any of the shadows inside that layer group. And then click the down arrow next to opacity. And just drag the slider to the right or the left to adjust the darkness of the shadow. And then when you're done, you can just go to File, Save As. And if you're going to use this as a thumbnail online, like on Etsy, then you'll want to save a version as a JPEG. You can also come back in a second time and uh, save a version as a Photoshop PSD document. Maybe you want to change the name and save a PSD file with layers for each one of your designs. That's all there is to editing the Gourmet Cupcake Mockup in Photoshop. Please let me know if you have any questions by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And as always, this mockup and other mockups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.